When we teach this school, in any school, we were not allowed to speak pidgin, except maybe for the little ones, because they were preparing for their independence. So they want to make sure they knew English. And that's why we were restricted. I couldn't speak. I was like Sister Stella Marie, mm -hmm. because the government official said, no pidgin. You no, have to no. just. If, if you do that with the school. That was at Carlina. Well, it was even mm -hmm. at High Gila. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I was yeah. not allowed. And so I did not learn the pigeon mm -hmm. as others did, and not first I, you rouse along this fellow place, and I got, yeah, I got some of it. But even at Carlina, it was more emphasized that you'd mm -hmm. only speak English. That's right. I, I can remember because of that, uh, I think it was Sister Claire, but you you didn't know pigeon then because you were so strong on on having the English, and then one uh, one pa woman brought her little baby in uh, to Sister Claire, and she says Picaninny kiss and piva, which is the child has a fever. Well, piva is also the name of the leprosorium. And so, so Sister got all excited and went, Sister Clarice was there at that time, and went and found Sister Clarice, and she said, oh, I think this child has leprosy. And, and <laughs> Sister Clarice came back and then took care of the thing, and then explained to her that Piva, they don't have any Fs in pigeon, so a fever was Piva. <laughs> and so, so that took care, that took care of that. And you know what? I never regretted it. Every year that I was there, I just enjoyed every class, except the first, the, the first class I went. It was five B. Yeah. I didn't know anything about the culture. It was right after our retreat. I was planted in the classroom, and lo and behold, I remember one girl. Teresa is her name, and she was from Nissan, and she was. I was talking to her, answering her a simple question, and I said to her. I can't remember the question, but all she had to give me was yes or yeah. no, <laughs> yes or no. So I asked her what the question the first time. She just looked at me. So I repeated the question the second time. She just looked at me. Then she repeated, I repeated the third time as she looked at me. I said, I need help. So I said to the class, did any of you hear an answer from Ter Teresa? Because I couldn't yeah. hear it. And they said, Yes, she answered you. Yeah, she and, she, and I said, she asked me? Yes, sister. All she did was raise her eyebrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she went to raise her eyebrow like this. I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I said, oh my gosh. I said, I'm so sorry. I wasn't watching for the yes on your eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt so bad because I was getting, yeah, was getting impatient, yeah. you know. But anyway. But that that was a, that's when you don't know the culture, right? And also on the same on the same thing, you can't ask, uh, "Well, do you want to go or not?" Because mm -hmm. they'll answer the last, but you don't know, and they'll say uh, uh, they'll say yes, meaning they don't want to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that was your yeah. last part that you asked, so you had to be very careful yeah, to ask that. just. One thing one that thing would ex that. that would give just yeah. one answer, not a yes and no. <laughs> yes. You have to wait and learn, you know. Uh -huh. And so the next year, I went into teaching the form one, which is comparable to high school, and they had two form ones. So that means every subject that I taught had to be taught twice, and it was science was one of them, and they never had anything uh, to do with so science. But I learned it was I think it was biology, and I said to the girls. I said, um, we're going to talk about and study spiders. I said, would you want to go home? When you go home to your village, see if you can see any spiders and I bring them to class, but don't bring any poisonous ones. <laughs> but of course, they knew they're, they're yeah. animals and creatures. Yeah. <laughs> Lo and behold, I, was, I thought maybe it would be, we'd be, they'd be in bottles mm -hmm. or containers. They came with the twig. 
<laughs> the twig with the spider running up and down all over the place. <laughs> so when they showed up with the twig, I said, oh my gosh. I said, I, I forgot. I didn't know you didn't have containers for them. I said, well, since you have them here with the twig, you put the twig on your desk. <laughs> Each one, watch out for your own spider. <laughs> but don't bring it too close to me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there were all kinds Good of spiders. spiders. And they were beautiful. Oh, yeah. They were big and they all were the small and very, very colorful. Yes. Yeah. yeah, well anyway, 